All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Radio Redemption 2. Uh, let's go to talk to you, Abigail. With the Red Dragon dead and Princess Brea rescued, Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the... I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Sound like trouble already. Hey, John. Abigail. Mm. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Macca. But I gotta go now. You coming? No, he's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm begging you. No! <laughs> you risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than, than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Oh, stop between the rock and the hard place. I understand my boy John. So, let's ride. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we are on the mission to get finally get Micah. Plate! Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. The little bastard with the rat face, then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life... Well, I'd like to try it. Watch out! Ooh, hey, John. You're giving him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking I might get out of here, too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. <clears throat> I think John is stuck in a rock and hard place. Uh, I think if he keeps doing what he does, Abigail's gonna leave again. This is it. But if it wasn't for... But if it wasn't for Arthur and Sadie and Charles, John wouldn't even have a family. John wouldn't even be alive. Okay, I didn't mean to cut you off, but let's get these guns. I'll stay on this one. If we meet in the middle, we would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. A little chicken. Look, two little chickens running around here. There, Clay. Hey, Clay. Been 
Come on, come on, come on. Why? Why? I can't run. Can't escape us, Cleve. Ain't no point in trying. Okay, let's catch him. Let's catch him. Sadie, cold bloody killer. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Naka, we're coming for you. Let's look where we are on the map. Uh, we are in the Grizzly West. I haven't been up here in a while. <clears throat> Especially not with John. I've been up here with Arthur, though. Be careful! Hey, 
Coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just, I just can't move fast. Okay. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. He's on fire. Just fine. Okay. 
you don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. It ain't nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. Uh, I'll be up there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. Likewise. I know y'all like, boy, I know you ain't trying to get in them boy pockets. I hear that instrumental though. Instrumental fire. Pockets, cuz. Okay, let's advance. I know y'all like the marksmanship right now. <clears throat> Let the gun do the talking, baby. Let the gun do the talking. Shoot, we're shooting, okay. I should hit that. Got him. Got him. Come on. We got time today, y'all. Come on. Let the gun do the talking. Look like he stank.
I mean, it's fire too. Ooh. We're close. I feel like we're very close. You got rats on the mountain, nasty fool. Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. <sighs> but I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Man, bitch, blow up. Walking. 
He should have made him drop it. He can still shoot. Just like old times. Mm -hmm. All manner of folk paying social calls. Hello, son. Oh, oh, oh. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Where you at, Charles? Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. <laughs> Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. Say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, master. Say something, Dutch! Say something! I ain't got too much to say no more. You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Thank you.
I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays and come and come and lay by my side right here to where the river turns to dust. All right, everybody, I want to thank everybody for watching the whole series. If you got through the whole series, you're a soldier because I know there's going to be a lot of episodes, a lot of videos that come out. And I appreciate all the love and support. It seemed to make sense. This is probably one of the best games I've played in the past few years. And I want to thank everybody for watching, liking all the short videos, all the long form videos. Everything I appreciate. Rockstar Games. The Housers, everybody. And I will see you guys in the next series. The buzzing think and the choking I can't stay no more Come and lay by my side Right here Red, I need you in the world When I see you behind the glass I forget that I'm in the cage They bring me to Sunday Mass But it never the rage, red. I love you and the world. Seven months gone and seven years to go, red. I can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here. Red, I love you and the world. All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone red, around our necks, we better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money, I, uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own, and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home.